Hey there, it's John. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite mods of all time. This is like one of the mods I always put into every mod pack I ever kind of build. Uh, I have like my five top favorite mods. If you can't tell which one is one of them as well, it's at the top right corner there on the screen is Journey Maps. Uh, but this one right here is called Waystones. It's this little uh, column looking thing right here. Uh, be, be, there it is <laughs> behind me right here and they pop in randomly throughout the world and they're also in every single village and what they allow for is fast travel like you can in, in assassin's creed and other other games where they allow fast travel uh they allow that using uh waystones uh and then it, you can set it up to where it costs xp to travel uh but i have it set up to where it's just just a, a right click and then if you right click it um you kind of select it See, it kind of gives you that weird name, Brezor, Brezoyer Cred. I don't know what that means, but if you if you crouch and then you click it, you can rename it and you can give it uh, like just say, I don't know, countryside country or give it like a landmark that you that you're nearby spawn or whatever, whatever it may be. This one happened to be near a spawn uh, uh, visible upon activation and then no modifiers active. So you can add things to this. Uh, like modifiers and whatnot as well. But right now we have our our waystone, and you can see it says countryside as a selectable. And we only have one, so we can't really travel to anywhere. But now what you can do is, like, okay, we, we have ourselves uh, um, our we kind of built ourselves a little jank house, right? So let's grab let's grab ourselves a bed, <laughs> just so we have a bed we can go travel with. We're gonna wait till it's it's daytime. M magic, y yay! It's daytime. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a village and I'll show you how they work. We found ourselves a village and you can see that these are, it's a standard village. Everything about it is pretty normal, except for it also has one of these little structures somewhere in the village. And then it has one of these waystones and this one's called something. <laughs> so we'll, we're gonna get nothing in our hands. We're gonna right click it. And again, we're gonna go through and we're gonna name it uh, vill village one, <laughs> whatever, doesn't matter. Plains village, Plains village one, because this is the first one that we found. I mean, there might be more. So. This is Plain Village, Plains Village 1. If we right click it now, you're gonna see it's selected and here it's gonna cost us uh, 15 experience in order to travel to countryside, which is, it's fine. It seems like a, a lot actually. Um, I think it's cause we're really far away, 1500 uh, meters away. So I'm gonna select that and it didn't charge us 1500 meters uh, experience. Did it just charge us? It says cost 15, but it didn't charge us that. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway, point being it's it's supposed to charge you, but it didn't charge me anyway. So yeah, it's it brought me back to over here and then I can do the same thing. I can go back to village one and it takes me back to the village and it really doesn't make a difference where I'm at, but it does. If I do point in that direction, this is because of, of uh, journey maps. <laughs> It'll tell me how far it is in the name of that point. So it, it, you can, again, you can turn that off. If I go to, if I hit J and I say close, I can go to this and I can turn off uh, the the beacons. Yeah, see, it's gone now. Okay, that, that was just turning off to turn it off. Anyway, so, so I can go back to countryside, and then this is the recipe to make said uh, to make what said white waste stone. You need what these things called they're called warp stones, and they're actually pretty inexpensive. They're not super hard to make. It's not like end game or anything like that. But you need I have uh, you need some ender pearls. You need four of those. You need some amethyst shards and you need an emerald. Again, not super expensive. They're pretty easy to get, but if you don't want to make it, you can just kind of search around. You will find these in the uh, in the world, just randomly. Like this one was placed here. I didn't place this one here. I just placed the stuff around it. So yeah, that you, you take that waystone and you throw it in the center. You wrap it with uh, three uh, blocks of obsidian and three blocks of stone or some of these others, like you can use chiseled sandstone or you can use deep slate, or you can use blackstone, or even end brick, and you can make different styles of these uh, different waystones. And then if you take one of the uh, the regular waystones and you wrap it in ivy, you can make one of these mossy ones as well. But that's how you make a waystone. You can carry it with you. That way, if you end up really, really far away and you don't have one nearby, you can just plop it down and you can teleport home, making it a lot easier to get around the world uh, of Minecraft. Now that's the basics of it. We also have these things called share stones. We can call this stone one, stone one. And we can plop another one down here. We can call it stone two. Oops, I should probably spell right, stone two. And uh, 
they're basically the same type of thing, except for uh, you can only jump to the ones with the same color. Like this is orange and this is orange. You can only jump between the ones with the same color. Like you can teleport between the other orange ones or other magenta ones or other blue ones. Uh, like, like, so pretty much the same recipe, right? So instead of doing a little pyramid over the, uh, the warp stone is just a straight line across. And then the two colored, uh, dyes to make it identical, right? So you're going to do either, you know, cyan dye, orange dye, red dye, whatever it may be. So you just need two of those so you can warp back and forth between those two. And I don't believe there's any cost to these. Let me see here. Yeah. There's no cost to jump back and forth between the share stones. So the share stones are unique in that sense. So you're, you're only jumping back and forth. If you have like two bases, like you have a base here and a base somewhere else, 10,000 blocks away somewhere, you, you would use those share stones to go back and forth without having to worry about the warp stones. You also have these little handheld deals, which are really, really nice. These are return scrolls, and these will take you back to your very first. Look it. It takes me back to my very first or the, the last place I warped into. So it's gonna automatically take me there. So I can go, you know, I can all the way over here. And then I right click it and it's gonna kind of warp in and boom. And it's gonna take me right back to that location. And then there's the warp stones, the warp scrolls, uh, which are similar, but you just right click those. And then you can choose where you wanna go as far as those go, right? So you can select just like you can with a warp stone, you would have this warp scroll and you would right click it, hold it down, and then you can select. So you don't have to carry a warp stone with you everywhere you go. You can you can carry around the warp scroll. That's really, really handy. And then lastly, we have uh, these call these things are called port stones. They can't be warped too. I don't know why you would make them other than the fact that they look really cool. Um, maybe if you don't want people to come here like by teleportation, you want them to arrive here on their own, you would have this to teleport to. So you could... Uh, to teleport away from sorry so you can right click it you can teleport to home or your village or wherever it is but you can't teleport to this location does that make sense uh well i i hope i didn't make it too confusing <laughs> anyway so there there is a spider jockey right there i haven't seen one of those in a little while uh the recipe for the port stone is pretty simple it is uh three polished andersite three stone uh bricks and two white die but you can use any form of die actually it'll just make a different color for it and then the uh the warp stone uh the recipes for the the warp scroll and the return scroll are really inexpensive actually it's three pieces of paper two gold nuggets and an ender pearl and it gives you the return scroll which is really nice my bad it wasn't a ender pearl it was a, a ink sack so it's again it's really inexpensive this one's a little more expensive in the sense that you have to get an ender pearl again they're not difficult to get but they're nice to have um and they're they're pretty easy to get quite honestly but you need four gold nuggets uh an ink sack an ender pearl and three pieces of paper and then you get yourself uh, a warp scroll and to get the then there's a warp plate and what you need for the warp plate is a dormant shard which to get a, a dormant shard you need dormant shard you need a uh, two pieces of warp dust and a flint. And then to get the warp dust is a piece of amethyst and an ender pearl. So you need uh, four of those to make the, the one thing. And then in order, then with that, you get this attuned shard. Because when you make this, if you put these, boom, 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 boom. Um, and then you put these guys in and then you take this a dormant shard and you get your warped plate, right? So let's go back into this. And then if I put the warp plate down, it cooks and it gives me this attuned shard. It gives me a really cool plate. I, I don't think it's useful for anything. Like I could put the shard in there, but it doesn't do anything. It just makes a really cool effect. Oh, I can name it. It doesn't give me an option to select it. But anyway, so I'm not certain what the, the warp plate does. I just know that you can, you can make it and it looks cool, but I'm not certain what it does because... I can save it and if I right, shift right click it, oh, I get, so if I don't have one in my hands, does it take me anyway? No, it does the craziness, but if I put one in my hands, it jumps me to the other plate. 
okay, that's cool. So if you have one of these attuned shards in your hands, it makes you jump to the other plate. Interesting. Well, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Waystones and showing you guys one of my absolute favorite mods. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comment section below or by smashing that like button and following along. And uh, you, if you guys want to see more uh, reviews, uh, tips and tricks on my favorite mods, let me know in the comment section as well. So anyway, till the next one, see ya.